What's up, guys? In today's fire breakdown, we are talking about what not to do in the event of a fire. It seems fairly obvious to most, most people, but it's worth repeating that if you see a structure that's on fire, whether it be a house, a bar, a restaurant, I don't care where it is. If you see that it's on fire, don't go in there, especially if it's for a stupid reason like retrieving a cell phone. There's also some other interesting stuff that I'll point out in this video, things that unless you are a firefighter, you might not pick up on or you might not catch. And then finally, there's a lot of commentary going on in this video and there's a lot of curse words. I personally don't care, but I really don't want YouTube to ding me for that. So if you hear the audio cutting in and out, I'm just trying to avoid as much of it as possible. So all that being said, let's get started. First word is on. Hey, Frank. So I'm going to stop it right there. First thing, you just saw two people run back into that bar. Again, it's worth repeating, I guess. If you see a bar that is on fire or any building that is on fire, do not go in there. I will put the link to the original video in the description down below if you want to see that. But apparently, in the actual, apparently whoever this person was was going back in there to get their cell phone. Do not do that, obviously for your own safety, but also for the consideration of the firefighters. Because when the fire department shows up on this, there's a lot of things going on on this scene. You have a bar that's obviously on fire and you saw a whole bunch of people walking around out front. I'm assuming they all evacuated out of the bar. Varying levels of intoxication. So anytime you walk up to somebody and say, hey, is there anybody in there? You don't know if you're getting an accurate story. You don't, you don't really know what you're getting. So it's going to be difficult for firefighters to determine if there's anybody in there, who's in there, where they are, and those types of things. So especially if you're going in there for something stupid like a cell phone, you're not only putting yourself at risk, but you're potentially putting firefighters who are going to at least attempt, probably, depending on the situation, to try and go in and save your life. You're putting somebody else's life at risk now because of your cell phone. Again, it seems fairly obvious, but do not do that. Oh my God, that sucks so bad. I was like, is that the f***ing first ward on fire? I saw it, hey, I saw it from uh, off of 229. I said, dude. No, the first ward's gonna be burned out. He went out there, your stupid ass phone. It's brick, it's brick, but I mean, that's coming in. Look how it's backdrafted, dude. Well, yeah. This backdraft is like crazy. So next thing I want to point out, you can hear the guy in the back saying it's backdrafting like crazy. And I'm not saying this to, to call this guy out or make fun of him. This again shows what TV and movies don't, how they're different from reality. This is not a backdraft. This is not what a backdraft looks like. I'll, that's for another video. I've found some backdraft videos that I'm going to go over and break down and explain why it's dangerous and things to look for. But this is not that. You can see that the back of this, the, I'm sorry, that the back of this bar is really rolling. It has a lot of oxygen feeding this fire. And you're going to see here shortly how quickly this fire moves from where it is to engulfing essentially the entire half back half of this building, the patio bars. But no, this is not a backdraft. Oh my God, is he still inside? He did. Is he inside or not? Get out of there! Amanda! Oh my God, why is my sister going inside? Amanda! Amanda, get out! out. Next thing I want to point out. You see how these flames are really growing. Look at that smoke. That is dark, heavy, thick smoke. And what a lot of people might not realize is smoke consists of unburned particulates. Whatever it is that's burning, there's, there's going to be small particles of things that aren't burned. And when the smoke is actually catching fire, and again, we'll talk about flashover. This is not, a, this is not really an instance of flashover. We'll talk about that in another video. This is what it looks like when smoke catches. Unless you know to look for that, you might not realize that, but this smoke is actually catching because of the extreme heat. The other thing I wanted to point out, you hear this guy yelling and you hear other people yelling in the background. This is what firefighters are gonna have to deal with and what a scene commander is gonna have to deal with when they show up. There's going to be a whole bunch of people yelling a whole bunch of different stuff. I think somebody's in there. I don't know. This is perfectly 
this is exactly w- what you will deal with as a firefighter. People are going to be grabbing you. Hey, my friend's in there. My my whatever's in there. Please help. Please help. You don't know what to believe in a situation like this. So again, it's worth repeating. If there is a structure fire, do not go back in there. Go there. Now. What the f*** is she doing? Amanda! Amanda! Get the f*** out of there! You're f***ing stupid! You're f***ing stupid! You're f***ing stupid! Couple things I want to point out. One, you can hear the guy in the background saying, man, it is so hot. It is so hot. This guy's all the way across the street. This shows how hot these fires can get and how quickly these situations can go from bad to worse. The next thing I want to point out, a lot of you that obviously watch this channel are interested in getting into the fire service. I don't, this, this fire was from somewhere in Missouri. I don't know exactly what fire departments respond here. Um, but you see there's one firefighter pulling a line. This was from a two-man engine. If you're thinking about getting into the fire service and working for a small department or a rural department or a volunteer department, this is reality for a lot of you. A lot of these other videos show the big departments like New York and Los Angeles and Chicago, and they have an army of firefighters that show up. It might just be you and a pump operator, and good luck. Here you go. This also speaks to what I said earlier, and again, I wanted to talk about this video because what not to do in the event of a fire. If you are in there and you're trapped and there's one firefighter like this that shows up, he is not going to come find you. He's going to wait till other people show up and an entire group can go in there, usually two people. But at this point, nobody's going in this fire, at least not for a little bit. So I wanted to point that out, some of the realities of dealing with fires as a small, rural, or volunteer department. We saw the flame come up over that door when we were still in there. Do you realize that? Yeah, you almost died. So that door got two firefighters for real. They were just remodeling this building and now look at it. It's free everything. everything. Oh my god, the power lines are gonna come down. Get away from the power lines! Power lines are gonna catch. They're gonna come down and get us all. Couple things I want to point out here. First of all, with everything going on, you can see this one guy had the wherewithal to save his beer. So I want to give credit where credit's due. 
But also now that other uh, units, other engines are showing up, and at the end of the video, I'm not sure if I'll get to it for the, for the purposes of this video, you'll see another ladder truck come down on the bottom half. This is kind of an awkward setup. This is not your standard uh, single family home neighborhood. There's two cross streets and this building is attached. It looks like newer construction attached to older construction. Apparently it's all one bar, but you're definitely gonna wanna have some firefighters going in the front of that bar and checking for extension to see if the back of this bar has caught anything uh, on fire in the front. Now, obviously you can't see behind here. I don't know if there's other buildings attached, but that's gonna be a big concern for firefighters is this fire was really rolling and it was really hot. How far has this extended to other buildings? Are we gonna have multiple buildings catching fire subsequently? The other thing that's interesting is uh, you can see this is kind of on a bit of a hill. And like I said, I don't know if I don't know if you'll see it in this video again. If you want to watch the original video, I'll put the link below. But towards the end, you'll see a ladder truck come down there. This is going to be a little bit of an awkward situation. This is kind of on a hill. You can see they built this bar around a tree. Uh, it might be a little bit tough for them to come around from the uh, Charlie side and see. I don't know what's back there, but just keep that in mind as a firefighter. There might be some unique obstacles or weird layouts that you'll have to come across in wherever you're fighting a fire. They're actually getting that, getting it out pretty damn quick as far as uh, all that add-on. This is the original building here to our left. The brick is the original. This is all add-on. So if they can get this out and try to salvage that, then that would be a strong, strong move. Yeah. Dude, it's good you got about that fast because that shit went up too fast. But you know what though? The building yeah, itself is intact. Yeah, this is yeah, all added it's on. It's all after. the deck. It's all the deck. Yeah, that's good. That's good that they didn't get it. I went inside. Somebody could have seriously got it. I went inside and put a sealed door so it ain't coming. So that's pretty much it for the purposes of this video. I, I, you were able to see there towards the end that ladder truck come around the backside. Like I said, I can't see the back. I don't, I don't know what they saw back there or what they ended up doing. Uh, as far as I'm aware, everybody made it out of this fire safely. But again, I wanted to make this video to remind people that if you see a fire, do not go in there. So as always, I hope you found this useful and helpful. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.